Uh, hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to make this 3D room thing. It's pretty cool for intros, and that's about it. So, or, I don't know, you can use your imagination to do the rest of it. I'm too lazy. Here's what it's going to look like. It's a really simple effect. It's just really tedious. And um, basically, I have two files. That's all we're going to need. A texture file for the walls and floors and either a logo or some other picture I'm gonna be using this logo I made in Photoshop really simple you can also just use regular media generators for your text if you're doing a logo but I'm gonna be using a picture so what we are going to be doing I'll just get rid of all this shit And I'll drag in this texture. And I'll rename the track to left, since it's going to be the left wall. I'm going to go into event, pan slash crop, and change it to no. Exit of that, change this to 3D source alpha. Go to track motion. Change the X to 90. Or not, change it to 0. Change the Y to 90. There we go. Go to your X position. And come over until you have a nice left wall. I want to play with three. Um, you need to go to the Z and bring it back a little bit if you can. Especially for the um, the left and right walls. Now we can actually duplicate this track. Rename it right. Go back to track motion. Go to uh, your X and just make it positive 161 or whatever you made it. It's going to be different depending on your taste and the picture file you freaking used. Duplicate that one and we'll rename it top since it's going to be the ceiling. Go to track motion, change the Y to 0 on orientation. I don't know why the. LZ got changed. Who cares? And I'll change the X to 90 now. Now I'll go into um I'll change X back to zero. And I'll go with Y and I'll bring it up. I'll place it somewhere. I might bring it down some. That looks good enough to me. Now I'll just duplicate that one, like I have been all day, and I'll name it bottom, bottom, oh what the fuck do you spell bottom, bottom, there we go, just like that, and I go to the track effects, and I will change the Y to negative 197, I might make this negative 191 just so they're all the same, excuse me, CD color, just like so, now I will we need this back wall, so I'll just bring in this texture again. Change it to no. Change it to 3D source alpha. I can increase the size all I want, and since we're playing in 3D space, it's not going to really overlap um, the other walls and everything until we play with um, the Z value. So I'll drag that back to the end of the room. Or our so-called room. And now, if we play it, of course, nothing's going to happen because we haven't, you know, made anything happen. So we'll go into our left and right wall. And we'll go to left one first, maybe, or right one. We'll go to track motion. We'll go over to the five-second mark, which is where my video ends. Depending on yours, might be different. But I will go to X and I'll change it to maybe just. 100. So I'll get rid of 61 frames of movement or pixels or whatever. That would go down. So then I'll go do the same thing for left. I'll subtract 100 from that, which will make it negative 261. Don't forget to go over. Okay, I almost forgot that. Go over to 
five second mark otherwise you won't be doing much you'll just fuck everything up like me I hope you guys are kind of following right now it's a little bit confusing or it might be really simple for you regardless thank you for sticking with me to this tedious ass shit go to the five second mark and I will bring the X over negative 100 and I'll do the same for the bottom. Five seconds in. X negative one hundred. Now, if we play this, my left wall is not moving for some odd reason. And this is exactly what I was talking about. I forgot to go over to the five second mark before I made my change in the wall's position. So I gotta rechange that to negative 161 and then go over 5 seconds and change it to negative 261. Fucking numb lock. There we go. There we go. Just like that. Now I can play it. Fuck you. Why the hell are you not cooperating, asshole? I have a fucking memory of a squirrel, I swear. Okay, um, five seconds. Where the hell's five seconds? Right there. Oh, fuck, that's what happened. I hit the wrong, the wrong button. I hit first keyframe, not previous. Ow. Not like that, it won't. Now let's see what it looks like. See, now it works perfect. It's just, the only problem is our back wall is not moving. So this is our back wall, the very bottom one. I forgot to name it. I'll name it middle. It's in the middle. Um, I will go to our track motion, and then I'll go over five sec, five uh, whatever it's called, seconds. Double, I'm just I'm double clicking on this, and then I'm just typing in the number five, and I'll change this to negative one hundred. And I'll play it, and it works perfect. Now I have a 3D room. Now it's, everything looks kind of the same, so I can add some artificial light, maybe, by going into. Uh, we'll start with the top one. We'll go to even effects, and we'll add some bump map. Change it to spotlight. Maybe bring the intensity up and the ambience up a lot, and then maybe intensity down actually. Bring it to the bottom left corner or somewhere in the middle or actually this works a lot better you know if you have different pictures for each one which you can do you can uh, I think you can do it let me see if I can do it so yeah I can change the textures um it's not too hard it's pretty easy all you gotta do is uh Let's see, I want to change the wall to something a little bit nicer. So I'll go to Google Images, and I'll type in maybe wall texture. God, these are some ugly-ass walls. Can I just... Oh, nice wall texture. God damn. Yeah, this is like Persian, Persian rug status. Don't know why this is being on someone's wall. Whatever, I'll type as wall. Save it, download it, keep it, import it, desktop, wall. Now, um, let's get the walls. So, I go to my walls here and um, I'll go into track motion on one of them and I'll copy the keyframes. I'll highlight them, right click them, copy them, then delete. Not that. After. Delete the picture. Drag in this wall texture. I go into track motion. Click on the first keyframe. Right click it. Paste it. And bam. Do the same thing here. Highlight. Right click. Copy. Exit. Delete. Said delete. There you go. Drag in. Paste it. Now I just gotta get something for the back. So anyway, um, 
I just added uh, the wall or the door in the back with my superb Photoshop skills. And now if we play it, it looks like a room. And like I said, you can uh, change the textures on everything. I mean, it's just I just show C so you can see it better. But if we play it, you can see how I fucked up, like always. But it's pretty simple to fix. I can just go into uh, which one's fucking up, the right wall. Go up to the right wall, go to track motion. I'll just increase the size of it. A little bit. And I'll copy that and I'll paste it on both keyframes. And it worked. So now if I play it, it looks like a room, like a 3D room, and the camera's panning through it. Now I'm going to add in my simple logo, if you're doing a logo. Position this somewhere. Not really the best looking intro, is it? Maybe make this 3D source off, we'll play around with Z. Oop. And then at the very beginning, this can um, be dead center. Then, as we go over five seconds, it needs to go over 100 keyframes to the left. So, if I play it, we got some pretty real 3D space here. I want to get a little bit more technical if I can add maybe a little shadow on the ground. Add a black effect here. Bring the opacity down a little bit. Maybe go into mask. I'm just doing a shitty shadow right now. Um, go into position and drag it down. Somewhere down here, maybe fly on the ground where a shadow would go. Add a little bit of a uh, Gaussian blur. Looks good enough to me. Now we should do the same shit here. Go over five seconds. Next keyframe, and these go to the left. One hundred keyframes. So up. Oh. Fuck. Not yet. Asshole. Zero. How come it didn't stay? If you're still with me, God bless you. Change out the 5, change this to negative 100. Play it. And we have 3D space and logos. And if somehow you paid attention to this whole 13 minutes and 20 seconds of video, then my God, you need a life more than I do. Uh, I'm gonna go eat my uh, chocolate cupcakes and zebra cakes now. Fatten up my life and increase my diabetes chance.